honor you, thanking you for your for the greatness of your mercy even upon our lives. This time that we are just waiting upon you, we thank you that our strength is renewed in you. And our love for you is growing deeper. And your mercy towards us is everlasting. We want to honor you and thank you because you are a great God. There is no God under the, under the sun that is so merciful like you and so forgiving. We want to thank and appreciate you. We want to elevate you above all other gods. Such a faithful God. We thank and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands. Make some noise. Please be seated. This week has been the week for the prophets. For Monday and Tuesday, we received the ministry of Prophet Jenkins. It's been very awesome and very detailed. Yesterday it was something else. And I'm sure um, a lot of you were blessed, except for the fact that we closed, we closed very, very late. But our, our prophet here tonight is a very disciplined prophet with time. Amen. And this is one man that I'll be here several times and we love his ministry. And if you are trying to sort out the genuine prophet on this land, he's one of them. There were good prophets on our land, but I don't know what has come over them. They have just turned to some other side. And their ways are not becoming pleasant to us. Amen. Where you, if you need money, you have to bring a pregnant woman and babies and all kinds of foolish things that we are hearing is making us lose our confidence in prophets. But I thank God that it's not all the prophets who have bowed down to bow. There are some that are up to the Lord. Amen. And therefore, tonight we are privileged and blessed to have this prophet. I listen to him every Sunday morning. And if you want to go to heaven, better listen to this prophet. He will preach, he will preach you to heaven. <laughs> As for him, his, 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 his assignment is to get you to heaven. Yeah. That we'll be listening to him from afar. I've heard him mention my name a few times on the radio. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. <laughs> a very great man of God. A very good father to, a very good son to our papa, Reverend Steve Mensah. He has mentored him right from the beginning and he's seen him go. I've been to his church well, to preach once and I was amazed at the sort of work the Lord is using him to do out there. Amen. And therefore, please help me welcome this great prophet, Prophet Odu from Alabasta, Alabasta Box, Alabasta Ministry. See him shout unto God. Hallelujah. I celebrate God for tonight. I want to thank God for everybody's life. Your two hands are lifted. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Yeah. 
So to you, Heavenly Father, we honor you for your favor and faithfulness tonight. We ask of your hand of blessing upon this service. It's a 21 day fast journey. You have been with us since day one. You have revealed yourself in diverse ways. Tonight we ask in the name of Jesus, visit your children who are so desperate in faith, trusting you for the miraculous and the supernatural. Do us good. We will be careful to return all the glory to you. Search us and know our hearts. Try us and know our thoughts. Bring us back to the paths of righteousness. May we walk with you in an intimate fashion. May we not miss the good way, the paths our fathers walk upon and found peace and rest for their souls. Tonight, Spirit of God, fill this August commission, this great work, and every heart here present, and the many people that are watching online, we give you glory for all of them. I thank you for my fathers, Papa Stephen Stanley, the great work you have entrusted to the care. Tonight, speak, they are ready. Jesus' name, amen. Wow. I didn't say sit, but you've already sat, so <laughs> it's a nice and patch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, I thank God for tonight. I first of all want to thank God for my father, Papa Steve, for the honor. I will want to oh please help me tonight, please. Help me tonight. Appreciate God. I want to always, you know, because they are, they have become facilitators of my blessing. I don't joke with it at all. Um, I lived in England for four years. My father came and the instruction was very clear and very simple. Come back to Ghana. It was, so the second time when he said it, I went to his hotel and I asked, why? He said, there are no explanations. Come back to God. The third time it was Mama Jane, he sent the message to Mama Jane with a, a warning and a threat. If you don't come back to Ghana, I will never preach for you again. So I was driving him once to the golf course. He was playing with Pastor Matthew and Bishop Sabo. So while we were driving to the golf course, I asked again, why? He said, there are no explanations, but you will do far better in Ghana than in this place. Little did I know that there was a season that was waiting to explode. Everything that is happening is happening too fast. It's unbelievable. That is good to have a father. And the father is not afraid or intimidated about you. He can just look you straight in the eyes and say, Gen Z, you know, you know. Straight away. Straight. They are not afraid of you. They are not intimidated about you and all that. And, and I love this fathers because um, it doesn't matter what you can give and what you can pull and what you can, the influence you have and what you own or possess, you cannot buy them. That's one thing I love about them. And I want to thank God for them because if I had stayed in England till now, possibly I would have backslidden. Yeah, possibly. Because for four years, I never heard the word cross. Never heard the word heaven. For four solid years, I didn't mention it and nobody mentioned it to me. 
I never heard the word judgment. And it, as a Christian, if you, it's been a year of hearing these words, you are on your own. You are on your own. Hallelujah. So tonight, I will want to use the opportunity to thank God for Papa Steve and Papa Stanley and Dr. Christy Dota. They really, I mean, I didn't want to come. They really pulled me out. Little did I know it was just close to the season of the explosion. So, Papa, thank you. I really, wherever my father Steve is, and Mama Martha, Mama Jane, thank you. I'm so grateful. This house has been my nourishing and preparatory and swaddling cloth. It's been my birthing table. This altar, I don't joke with it. You know, I, I, I said it in the business forum. I preach, teach them three times, two times in Alabasta, once somewhere. Nobody heard about it. The moment I stood on this altar, the world heard it. And teach them was what God used to unveil our ministry. It went everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, after teach them, I have television stations that I went begging with money to preach. They said no. I had radio stations that we went all around Accra. We begged them, please put us online. And they said no. After teach them, they put us on for free. For free. Most of what you are seeing on television, radio is free. It's free. We don't pay a penny. I mean, if we were going to pay UTV three times a week, how are we going to pay that? If we are going to pay Vision One twice a week, how are we going to pay that? It's, it's, it's all free. And Papa, we don't joke with it. I have limited time and I will want to, you know, bring you a summation of the thoughts or the intents of God. Tonight, possibly, I may not excite you, I may not enthuse you because I carry a specified word from God. Praise the Lord. Reverend Mike and my mother, thank you so much. I want to thank God for my fathers lined up at the front. Thank you so much. The love you have shown me in this house. I don't joke. When this house calls, I run. But the amazing thing is that the, the, the tension and the anxiety never goes away. Every time you are invited, there is tension. You can't sleep properly. The message is not coming well. And you know, CEM has all classes of people. You know, you have the, you know, the medical people, the business people, the entrepreneurial people, the kwakwahuya baby, anyhow, you know, you know, it makes it very difficult to, you know, when, when you're serving a meal in such a house like this, you cannot just dish it in like grandma's house and dump it. You know, you need to save courses. You need to save courses. The, uh, you know, the married, the singles, the, you know, the elite. The, the, you need to be very circumspect, even in the selection of verbosious terminologies and vocabulary. So, so to bro, Praise the Lord. Praise God. Now, before, before I start tonight, let me just follow the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Everybody in this place, just take a seat of any amount. It can be a coin, whatever it is. Just come and engage the altar of God quickly and then let's start. Any amount is fine. Just engage the altar of God quickly and then let's start. Touch it. Whatever the request, we are trusting God. We believe in God for just do that briefly and quickly. And then we can just fire. The grace of God will be our portion. Remember to whisper a request. Remember to whisper a prayer. Whisper a prayer. 
Paragesira anterere. Will you come and sing one song whilst we drop all these? And then quickly, and then we can uh, shoot. Poro do kaya. Man da dida ki sota. Gerone kerede bahata. Come and take this song. Sing my favorite hymn. Just one. Jesus shall reign where I dear son the seas so sensitive journeys run his kingdom stretch from shore to Till sunshine rise and set no more. Jesus shall reign where I dead sun Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when it comes to fasting and prayer, we are having our 21 day fast and prayer. When it comes to fasting and prayer, there, there is a concept or a synopsis in the Bible that comes into the picture. And it's the synopsis of Ezra, chapter 8 and verse number 21. Ezra 8, chapter the 21st. The Bible said, and I proclaim fast by the river of Ahava then he said that we might afflict ourselves before our God and to seek him someone can you push me up just a little bit seek him for the right way for us and for our little ones and for our substances all our substances when it comes to that word all our substances it's got to do with your career your relationship your marriage your income and your outgoing and everything that concerns you every enterprise that concerns you in other words we're talking about the projects you are embarking on we're talking about things like the people that need to come into your life that you need to really associate and connect with in order for the miracle and the breakthrough to come to pass everybody in this place need four kinds of helpers facilitating helpers destiny helpers appointed helpers prophetic helpers these helpers you cannot do without them uh, uh, no matter how high you are going how low how intermediary you are you need these helpers in order to connect to these uh, jesus said this kind go and not except by prayer and fasting watch it we're working on a synopsis we need to understand that whilst the lord is working on all this and opening doors for you and taking you to your promotion when you started life it was not like this when your first car came you didn't look like this and the second one came the third one came now you built your second house and third one and you have invested you're going higher and greater it's amazing but whilst all these are happening my main scripture for tonight will be titus chapter 3 verse number 8 in fasting and prayer we need to come to the cognizant fact of this revelation because the fasting and prayer is not only to seek god for the substances only for ourselves think about that for ourselves very interesting if you for yourself then you, you are a tripartite being you are a spirit you have a soul you live in a body we are not going to miss the opportunity ladies and gentlemen in a forum like this in fasting and prayer where everybody is ready hearing the heart and the mind of god we don't 
have to miss that opportunity that after the cars after the money after the wife after the breakthrough after the everything then what next we need to come to the place of reflection even in the disseminating of the word of the Lord we have the milk of the word which belongs to infants and the meat of the word which belongs to mature people in prophecy we have milk prophecies and meat prophecies the oh you better hear that I don't know which kind you want tonight because you can easily say I want the meat of the world but an infant cannot eat meat because meat has bones or is amalgamated with bones in it so if you don't have teeth how can, then can you eat bones it takes the grace of God to grow and in a fasting and prayer like this we are not only asking for the breakthroughs we also need to seek him for ourselves whether this is the time we need to even examine ourselves whether we are still in the faith whether you are still on track hey, one of the greatest deceptions if not the greatest is self deception to deceive your own self like I'm out oh, don't worry this is exactly what Lucifer went through Lucifer told himself don't worry Lucy baby everything is all right don't worry Lucy everything is good Till, until that is the same deception Samson went through deceived himself sometimes you have backslidden and you feel you are on track because you are gradually telling yourself that anointing is there and the grace is there. I have been examining certain things and I'm asking that if you expose anything to close proximity with something that has the power to change something like a chemical reaction if I expose you to a chemical reaction it will change you if I expose you to gas it will, ex it will change you if I expose you to an explosion it will change you whatever I expose you to how come you are exposed to the God of the Bible you are this close proximity and he is not affecting you you are in close proximity with the God of silver and gold why then are you struggling with him why do why do we need to pray for father open the door to america 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 fasting and prayer open the door to america but there are armed robbers who don't fast and pray but they are in america why do i need to get the visa by fasting and prayer where prostitutes did not even blink their eye and they are going there is a message tonight very clear i will push it like an injection you know when they give him the injection and then you know it's over hallelujah if 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 i put salt in water the salt takes dominance if i put salt in rice the salt take dominance the rice do not dominate the salt if i put you by god god takes dominance if i put you by christ christ take dominance the christocentric grace you know mixes up with your life because there is a revelation that needs to be outlined that if i am a child of this god then why am i struggling why are we struggling? And it's because the little foxes in our lives are destroying the vine. If, if you break the hedge, the serpent will bite. The truth is that I have been talking about to this generation and they do not get this simple truth. Is that this generation do not want to adhere to sound doctrine. Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 3. We do not want to hear sound doctrine. Our hearts are something else. We don't want to hear a rebuke. We don't want to hear a reproof. 
we don't like correction but during fasting and prayer this is the time we need to really bring ourselves afflict ourselves and reflect whether we are obedient to the faith and whether we are still in the faith whether we are in alignment to the will of god even in the will of god we need to dissect it into three the permissive will of god the acceptable will of god and the perfect will of god we make our own choices we make our own decisions and when we find ourselves in the mess we turn back and blame the devil and i realize that the modern day christian does not want to take responsibility for anything if it is not before some spirit of amagadon spirit of one spirit of tear if you are on fire the spirits will advise themselves amagadon Spirit of Abaddon, Apollo, spirit of uh, Eurocliton, and all that. Hey, I mean, Casa Manchero. It was to Ghana. When we Nama Bay, everybody was under the table. Where there is power, there are no arguments. Power! Let me raise one dead body here. Tomorrow morning, we don't need advent. We don't need advent. This place will be too small. Power! See, that's why these young men have gone for occultic powers. Because they realize that power deals with a thing. It answers issues. Power deals with the thing but we are not ready to pay the price we are not ready to go through the process we are not ready to that, that is why you know we we want milk of the world you are going to america we are jumping we are going to canada you are jumping but if god now brings you to the place of all sufficiency you will realize that uh, in shirakura if you want more if not there are certain things uh, if it comes to your disposal you realize that it's not about you when god begins to trust you with a transgenerational blessing he does not reduce it to you your wife and your children he then gives it to you for Yes, and this. Oh God, oh God. Let's go back to you know the scripture is Titus chapter three verse number eight. The Bible said, "This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they that have they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and." profitable unto men they which have believed in God must be careful very careful to maintain good works be careful be very careful that word and if we are fasting and praying this should be father search my heart that was one particular thing search my heart and know my heart try me and know my thoughts that is one of the things we must come to the place of some 139 verse 23 and 24 search me oh god and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting search me we need to come to that place we need to be careful to come oh yeah, definitely to ephesians chapter 5 verse number 15 to walk circumspectly not as fools but wise redeeming the times because the days in which we live are evil i'm telling you the days in which we i i wish we can have some sons of issachar in this place who can understand the time in which we are living in we are living in very defining moment of generation yeah you yeah, when we this end time we are living in a very very defining moment ladies and gentlemen we need to be careful to come to the place of romans chapter 2 verse number 16 in in the day when god shall judge the secrets of men by jesus christ according to my gospel the secrets of men 
when we sit like this we are the church we are like the church of sardis we have a reputation like we are alive but we are dead oh yeah you know when you look at people nicely like don't be deceived because in among us is where the judgment of god is going to begin and in fasting and prayer we need to be circumspective and look in ourselves we must be able to stand before the mirror of god's word and critically assess our lives Pierre, one of the reasons i realize that many people your prayers are not answered it's john chapter 9 and verse number 31 god does not hear sinners god he does not hear sinners i like my father's prayer tonight he said he is the most forgiven ever ever merciful but we know that the Lord does not hear sinners. I like it in the tree Bible. We say, "Nasu bi feri we nyango pom, nasu yeni we nyango pom pa." Or no, na we nyamiti yena. Or no, we nyamiti yena. And so we need to be very that God does not. Hear. Even American embassy has standards. They have principles. You want to apply for visa, pay at the bank, fill the form online, and then get an interview day and come and see us. Then we would decide on your case. You don't go there and say, I don't like your procedure. I will use my own procedure. You will end up in Dakuma because they are pioneer. You will end up in Dakuma because they are doing that. And now we ask them yeah i'm telling you you don't determine the rules they that create something determine the rules anybody who have not created nothing they don't create any rules but i tell you we're dealing with very very serious stuff whilst the breakthroughs are coming whilst you are counting your first million dollars you need to also be cognizant and conscious of job chapter 14 and verse number five don't forget that scripture ever in your life your days are numbered your months are determined god has put a boundary before you you will never cross it when that time comes i shall not die but live and declare the works of god that when your time comes that scripture will not be applicable if that scripture will be applicable then brother Moako should be with us then auntie grace Edunfa should be with us then bishop hoxen should be with us then bishop anoyebua should be with us by now then bishop Ousu tebri should be with us right now when that day comes it doesn't matter how anointed you are we should be mindful if we are planning of our pension then we should be planning to our eternity plan it plan it when moses was talking about in psalm 90 verse 4 so teach me to number my days that i will apply my heart unto wisdom david was also saying in psalm 39 and verse number 4 he said lord let me know my end i want to know my end how my end will be show me my end give me a picture of how my end will be and let me know that let very few days that you have measured for me Dear, if you let me know that whilst even in this fasting and prayer i will be careful to even know the sort of prayer requests i pray some of the requests like i kill all my enemies die 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 you are killing the people you have been sent to to preach to really no wonder the milk of the word is dominating our hearts it's time to grow up to the meat of the word i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen how you have not chosen me but i have chosen you that you should go and bear fruit that your fruits should remain your fruits should remain Matthew chapter 3, very interesting verse. He said, go and bear fruits of repentance. I want fruits of repentance. When I look at the church, the body of Christ, I realize that we are a bunch of actors. Actors! A dear beer! Who is acting. I don't know how you're doing, sir. We'll be to you. You maltreat your wife and come here and pray like a lender machine. And forget a keska. 
Shut it off. Shut it off. Because God is a judge of motives and the intents of the heart. Dear. So whilst we are having fasting and prayer, we need to understand Jeremiah chapter number 17 and verse number 9 that the heart is desperately wicked and the deceitful above all. Who can know it? I the Lord, I search the reeds, I try the heart, you know, and I will give to every man according to their doing. I'm telling ah, when I look at Ghana how prayerful this nation is and I look at the answers we are getting I realize that God is not hearing our prayers yeah go to Achimota Forest, go to Achia, go to Agape, go to Adrianuma Mountains go to uh, Ablikuma go to um, uh, you know uh, um, um, Adunfa and go and see prayer Agaya Ia Agaya Ia Agaya Ia and if Agaya Ia is being answered we will not have a situations we have in this country Tineakikano you date this girl, you drop her like Killer Willie. You date this, you drop her. You date this, you drop her. And in the same church, you can date three women and drop them. And you go and bring another woman from outside to see him. And you are creating enmity between these daughters of Zion. Now they see your wife and they are so embittered and so piffed and so pained. And even their prayers are hindered and their worship is hindered. And you are feeling good all around the place and you come to fasten and prayer and say I break the devil what feels like slapping you on the right cheek the prophets of old when they were coming to town the king will send somebody to ask them are you coming in peace they will ask how can there be peace Abraham German Kankai Ajikrom Hena how can there be peace people can sleep in their boyfriend's house people are having courtship and they sleep in each other's house and they still come to church and it's normal normal and fasting and prayer like you know sometimes the the fornication is so fresh so when they are praying the tongues don't really got melele eh. if we are not careful we will miss the generosity of God and the benevolence. Sometimes I look at the so-called Christians are struggling and these unbelievers are riding nice cars, living some luxury life. And I'm asking myself, your word says that we should not fret when the wicked flourish. Because we will be looking for them and we can't find them. But why is it that these ones are not breaking through? Because our hands are polluted. And we have become like Isaiah chapter 1. Hear all Israel. You know. When you get to verse number 15, he makes a very powerful revelation. He said, if you lift up your hands and make prayers numerous and increase your prayers, I will hide my face away from you because your hands are full of blood. He said, wash yourself, clean yourself, and, and, and feed the poor or feed the fatherless handle the widow with care can we welcome my father and mother into the house are you clapping I salute you papa hallelujah thank you for the honor once again hallelujah 
So in this fasting and prayer, he said, I will hide my face away. He said, wash yourself, clean yourself, and come, let us reason together. If your sins be as colored, I will make as white as wool. If it be red as crimson, I will make as, you know, sparkle as snow. If you are willing, the thing is a choice. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But if you rebel, the sword will devour you. Pioneer, with 35 minutes of my time to go, I will strictly work within it. We will have a good ministration within just a short time and we close. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, rend your hearts. It's time, it's time for fasting and prayer. This is the time for reflection. Rend your hearts. Be careful. The Bible said, be careful to maintain good works. It's care. Take into that. When people are into all kinds of fraudulent deals and all that, and these days we have numerous of them all over Ghana. People go into all kinds of shady, numerous deals all over the place, and they bring the resources to the altar of God, and they want us to sanctify idols. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, the Bible said also in Jeremiah, the same Jeremiah chapter number 17, and this time verse number 11. He that you know wants the war party. He that pursue riches or wealth unrighteously shall be like a partridge who is hiding upon the earth that does not belong to him. At the end, he will divide his years into two and be noted as a fool. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm that is why I look at so many people that came out and, and I, I, I will want to, you know, continue this message next Wednesday in our business forum. You know, where any plan beyond my, they come up, in a put 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 Vanish! They are gone. Put 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 my father. Kitty kitty green is gone. And sometimes you are crying in your room. My God, why is it that this girl we all started together? Look at how this rich guy has married him here, here and oh God, why I have that uh way in Hunra Wusu. Some people when you are sweet people will be tea. I'm telling you, within this past two weeks or three weeks, the, the, the people we thought they were doing well, Asma Meshka, Aisha Meshka, they squandered people's money. There is no way you can pay like men's gold. And I'm telling you, I want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus for, you know, in this fasting and prayer, it is my prayer that your heart, your heart will be rendered. Not our clothes, not our apparel. I'm telling you, tell you, you know, in fasting and prayer, this is where we need to check whether our relationships with our neighbors are in line. You are maltreating somebody's child whose mother and father are dead, and you are sitting in fasting and prayer. Oh God. God forgive our hearts. You are maltreating an orphan and you are expecting a breakthrough. I'm sorry. You are after somebody's husband. Somebody's husband bought the car you brought. Somebody's husband. I don't know how you do this. I lie you so. Telling you the heart and the mind of God. I'm telling you, see him, whether you like it or not, you will be successful on earth, you will prosper on earth, it shall be well. But heaven need heaven. We will take you by force to heaven. I'm telling you. Somebody's husband bought the house, bought your Louis Vuitton bag, bought your Chanel shades, bought your shoe, bought your whatever, and you are in fasting and prayer. Oh, you better repent. Repent and back. You follow somebody's husband, you have decreased the number of your years. I'm telling you. 
Romans 6 23 clear the wages of sin is death some of the deaths I think about as ah, 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 ah. this is not normal who brings you in? I don't want to mention names of some of our brothers and sisters in this country who passed on. Which means who we mm-hmm. A chile. A teno. A tiato. The Bible makes it very clear. Some some 90, I think it's verse number six. He makes it very clear. The number of our years he has given everybody 70 years. Okay, let's make a good analysis. 70 years. Deduct the years you are right now from 70. Yeah, yeah, check. All right. Oh, but you know, we can get this. Tiana, I bet you know, I need to read it. The days of our years are 70. And if by reason of strength, it goes to 80. But even that. The strength of that is labor and sorrow. And soon it is cut off. When it's cut off, we go and meet the scripture we read in Romans 2.16. We meet it again. That God will judge the secret sins of men by Jesus Christ. Secret. You don't know whether I'm maltreating my rater, the day rater or not. And you know, I I and when I realize uh, this is so amazing. You know, when we we realize that somebody has a problem, we all know. And then when they get out and they see other people, and then they go like, "Hi, babes, baby girl." We are like, "Whoa!" Me, me, bufua from from my background. I am a ghetto boy, and that is why I still take the gospel to the ghettos. You know, in the ghetto, there was a rule. Uh, there was a rule. If I don't like you, I don't like you. I will hate you with passion. In the ghettos, you know, in Fadama, where I grew up, we were in gangs. We smoking gangs. Oh yeah, my father gangs. If this gang don't like you, we don't cross carpets. And Tokwa Paya, everybody will bring out their their machetes. And then there are two Abebe. It was those days. You know, I have say, I have say, just in case I have miss a habu. <laughs> we didn't like each other, and that was it. The rule was simple. If we don't like, we don't smile at you. If we don't like you, we don't eat with you. If we don't like you, we don't come to your house. Anything you do, we don't like it. We oppose it. When I became a Christian, I realized that it was the opposite in church. These guys don't like you, but they will smile. These guys hate you, but they will eat with you. These guys hate you, but they will nicely smile and say nice things about you. And when you turn back, they stab you. Oh, so to me, come Oh, who to me, come Fasting and prayer. One of the things that the Lord needs to heal, apart from our lust, is our hypocrisy. Heal our hypocritical proclivities. We are too hypocritical. Heal us, oh God. Hey, my child, yes, so I'm a semen, my happy. What's your trust? What's your trust? <laughs> you, you know I, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you sometimes when I, I look at you know people like this great ministry and, and you will, somebody wants to start their ministry and they want to use this ministry to start their ministry collect people's numbers uh, the Lord reveals something to me and da da ba da 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 you know one of the things that you know my father's here you know I learned from them since I sat those days when we were at the uh, shed, you know, you know, when I learned from them long before we built this place and moved here, and one of the things that if they go somewhere, they don't engage anybody there. If they leave, you can't call them. They don't call you. They don't interact with you. I learned it from them many years ago. So if I come to see them, nobody here can say that they call me, they talk to me, and then da da da. I give them prophetic direction. Come and see me. You can never say that. The real oh yeah, you can clap. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these guys don't have this training. They will come collect people's numbers. And uh, uh, yeah, she am a she am a moving pick now in your lunch and only idea. Because these guys don't know what it means to win one soul and the value to maintain or retain one soul in a church. These guys do not understand that. And uh, we will have to grow our game. And sometimes when we go to these meetings and they are asking, uh, oh, so you are CM. Oh, you know, you should leave CM. And I'm starting my new ministry next month. And you should come and help and we are following and i went to peace fm i joined and i and there is this church or so-called church now these churches have now become business centers in uh, in uh, what is the place yeah <laughs> huh? i hear no assassin one santo santo Mama, I so we, we want to give you and then they will give you a little gold bar real gold 24 carats like this and they will tell you don't sell it if you sell it you will die take it anywhere and go and test it after you have tested it come it's going to multiply you will go and test it and once you know it's real gold now they said go and bring 25,000 cities and then we'll go to your house uh, dig a hole in your house and say this is prophetic direction and then they put the gold in the hole and said and put petrol on the gold and put a handkerchief on it and said we need to pour water around it go and bring water from your room whilst you are going to their room they take the gold and put it in their pocket and then they by the time you come he ignites the match and it go like boom and then whilst it burns the handkerchief there is no gold in it you ask where is the gold he said the gold has entered into the earth it's going to multiply like cassava (laughs) hey messy everybody and ladies and gentlemen this is the kind of thing because we are not trying to be responsible Christians we don't want to say we want everything to be done for us pray for me fast for me you know protect me and all. I have heard people say that I came so that you will protect me 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 I'm sorry I'm Jimmy I should protect you Oh, please, come on, let's be real to ourselves. Most of the things that we don't, please, I'm telling you. The Bible said in Genesis 3, 19, Kofidro, I am dust, and dust I will return. Don't be deceived. One day, you will just hear news. The guy just collapsed, and that was it. So, whilst we still have this breath, we need to finish well. And if we are going to finish well, we need to also eliminate all the little foxes that are destroying the vine. Yeah. Pride. Arrogance. Lies. Amale, amale, amale. Obia wa chempna wa hebia wa yetrofo. Oh, me pacho diye se me di susu wo. Me di beko pentiku su ako kachro. Diye. Let me tell you, now we are living in a generation where having a wife and having other girls is normal. And it's in church. And these are the things that is blocking our breakthrough. Isaiah chapter 59, 1 and 2. The hand of the Lord is not short to say, God doesn't have a problem blessing everybody in an overflow. God does not. Our sins have become a wall blocking the visibility and the view of God. And so when it comes to fasting and prayer, with the first thing we need to commence a fasting and prayer with is repentance. Repent! Repent! From masturbation and the addiction of pornography. Repent! Oh God, help me preach it. Repent! 
I'm telling you, somebody's giving you a project and all that. Why can't you be truthful as a Christian? Why? Why can't you be honest? Why can't you speak the truth? You bought five bags of cement. Don't tell him you bought 20 bags. God is still a judge. Still a judge. And, and may I tell all husbands, the maltreatment of a wife can close the heavens on you. Women, women, women are created, women are created to be pampered, to be cherished, to be nourished, to be celebrated. Make a semutimwaimodo. Women love women love things like ah, middle, and that you dinner, and you know dear with Diana Janina say, and that you took your chain that yeah, they want to hear it. They want to hear things like you look gorgeous woman who either you can't say that to your wife and you go to the office and go further to say you look sexy please as i bring my some my presentation to a summation let me say to every you know uh the husbands have come to intense pressure recently oh yeah too much pressure especially by the collapsing of the banks and the you know the traumatic situation in the financial sector and all that this is where the wives will have to up their game against the side chicks oh you thought i didn't know side chicks the side chicks know how to pamper they know how to serve they know how to labor they know how to you know relax a man every wife in this place and every single person that is getting ready to get married should be able to understand that if your husband is under pressure you don't add to it learn that fast your husband is under pressure don't add to the pressure obey your husband is coming from wherever and you needed to fix the food on the table before you come to fasting and prayer. And so, I mean, later, so, you know, some quite be good. And so, they come back and you are here. La Garon de Keskete. Same thing in your mere sin as swing. Go back and fix it. The Bible said that if you come to the altar to present your sacrifice and you realize that you have ought against somebody, do not put it on the altar. Put it aside. Go back home. Reconcile with the person and then come back, take the sacrifice and put it at the altar. Then my question then becomes can you imagine the sacrifices that have come to the altar that was not accepted by God? I hide it. I hide it. I'm beginning to feel the thing. Hey, I'm Paul. I'm Paul. Unforgiveness is blocking many breakthroughs. Yeah. Unforgiveness. Sometimes, especially like, like branch pastors. These. I love, I love Nigerians and the training they get concerning relating to men of God. They don't speak evil. TA! You don't join guns to talk against the oil upon the commission and expect the oil to work for you. I'm telling you, my message is done. But I want to say this, and then in this 15 minutes, we can just pray and have a short ministration. We are done. I want to tell everybody. Learn the language of the commission. It's because it's the language of faith. And the air conditions are the headquarters. And, uh, you know, uh, Wongboye, you know, Akluwane, and all that, 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 you know. Who now has seen me from? Young Kasebra, the Afro. Who now has seen me from? Go and prove that calling. A place where there, uh, there is no electricity, even uh, 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 network is not good, and all that. Do you did, did you ever hear the Bible recording network in Jerusalem <laughs> during Jesus' time? Bro, go on, two men, let's get to work. Look at how the Muslims now are advancing their game. 
It will shock you. Those days they used to use Ahuja horns for their crusade. Now they are using full range speakers. The last time I saw them using line arrays. Line arrays! Have mounted line arrays left and right monitors and they have bible readers like i have willie here and they say hey, uh, surah chapter 41 quran chapter 41 uh, uh, verse you know also saying call no i can can call no i can can call i was shocked i was shocked kaukudi park i saw this guy we no a good tank him for the buckets and the four gallons now baby sir you know when I saw at Kaoku I was blown away now this guy he touches people they go like ah cream I said which one is this one because of course this is not the Holy Spirit so which one is this one Tiadio. I'm telling you, if we, are, if we are going to see the glory of God, if we are going to see the ancient anointing, truth must be placed back to the house of God. Truth. No, Kure. It must come back to the house of God. Telling your wife the truth. Telling your husband the truth. Telling your boss the truth. I have a young man who you know use fraudulent means to buy a land at Oyarefa, build a three-bedroom house. He was selling with somebody at Medina and stole from the person. And I was preaching on radio. The guy heard it and said, "Ah, uh -uh, I have sinned against God. And then went home, took the documents, went and confessed and handed the documents. They led him to the house and he handed the house. Now, he doesn't have even a single room, but he said, I am happy that at least I, am, I have a right standing with God. I have a right standing. Tonight, look at that scripture again. Let's read it one more time. You know, um, what was it? Titus or what? Chapter 3 and verse number. Let's, let's read it for the last time and we are done. Look at this very carefully. It's a fasting number. This is a faithful saying and these things that, that you have to affirm constantly that they which have believed God, they should be careful to maintain good works. So fasting and prayer, I'm sitting here and I'm asking God, what we read in the uh, um, book of Psalms, search me, search me. For, forget about the breakthrough. God can give you far more than you can ask. Search me. Once I am in tune with you. I mean, let me use my father for example. My father's children, my siblings, will not beg for anything that belongs to my father. Like the captain, the pilot, is not going to be like, um, Daddy, can I use this car? No. You know why? It is his inheritance. So that was why I started by telling you if I expose something in close proximity with another thing, for example, if I expose you to fire, the fire will have an effect on you. If I expose you close proximity to electricity, it will have an effect on you. If I expose salt to rice, the salt will have dominance. If I expose um, fuel or any petroleum product to um, any water body, it will take dominance. Same thing if you, I expose you to the presence of God. The presence of God must take dominance. So if you come to the service and go back the same, something is wrong. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. <laughs> your two hands are lifted. Okay. 
key is this, sir? What key is this? F. Amazing love, how can God have Amazing love. Come on. How can it be? Da 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 Heal my heart, O oh God. Fix my heart. Bring me to alignment with your word. I want to be your pleasure and your praise on earth. I want you to look at my life and you call me your pleasure. When I am in a right standing with you, I will not even ask you, you will supply. Put your right hand on your chest. Come on, let's pray. We want to ask the Lord, whatever. It, we are fasting a prayer. You know, all the fast in the Bible, it started like this. Joshua's fast started like this. Daniel's fast started like this. Ezra and Nehemiah's fast. It started like this. Yes! Created me a clean heart, oh God. Renew a right spirit. A right spirit. Renew it within me restore to me the joy of your salvation come on open your mouth let's pray in the name of the Lord Jesus come on forgive forgive forgive, forgive. heal us what on since day one we have prayed about so many things but you and I will understand that most of the things that we are praying about are earthly things tonight we want to pray one heavenly thing only one write my name in the book of life only one heavenly thing brother the thing is that after everything is said and done on this earth 
we have a place to go <laughs> we have a place to go when Bishop Bob Hudson died I realized that this thing does not even know whether you are in church and I thought that was the only one I had heard until recently I heard other stories Bishop Bob Hudson was preaching this platform at Jubilee Christian Center, big fan proof on the platform, on platform, on the altar. When the time comes, it doesn't know whether you are in a plane. As we are all standing here, the truth which many people don't want to hear is that the clock is ticking on all of us. One day it will stop. When it stops. It will be time for reckoning or accountability. You will stand before God. This is why you should, anytime you are dealing with your husband, think of accountability. Anytime. Think of accountability. That I am honoring this man not for him, but for God. I am honoring this woman not for her, but for God. Anytime. You are paying for phones for girlfriends and not for your own family. Think of accountability. Anytime you think your mother is a witch, therefore you don't take care of her. Think of accountability. God, he is a just God. And tonight I'm asking you, please, the Bible said, anybody whose name is not found written in the book of life, will be thrown into the lake of fire. These are not fairy tales. Very short prayer. Please write my name in the book of life. Only, only 20, 30 seconds we are done. Can you open your mouth? Talk to God. Talk to God. Right after that, production guys, I will let us take a short commercial break on Facebook and then, you know, we do something quick and then we are on our way. 30 seconds only. Thirty seconds only. Write my name. Cofidro, I need my name in the book of life. Bregu, eh ya Oftentimes I look at how amazing we have limited the prophetic ministry to only mentioning of names and numbers and all that. Prophetic ministry has a very broad spectrum. What we are doing tonight is prophetic. Therapeutically prophetic. is healing. Treating is treating. Treating our hearts prophetic can we take a commercial break on facebook i will bring you back just briefly we'll be back prophetically 